Hello and welcome back to another Sibelius quick tip. My name is André van Haren and today I want to show you something about instrument name. This name here is called the instrument name and the instrument name has a certain distance from the page margin. So how do we set these, these uh, inf this information? Where do we set the instrument name and how can we create this specific distance? For this we go to layout, sorry, house style and engraving rules and we go in this panel here to instruments and then we see here instrument names. We have a choice between three different kind of displays in the score, full, and that is what it's shown right now, at start show the full name, or we can choose to, sh to show it short, the short name, and it looks like this, abbreviation, and we can choose not to show the instrument at start at all. And then there is nothing. We only have a little space here. And this space 29 is showing as well here. We can put it to zero for example. Okay. And now and there's one other place where you can put set this space. And I want to show you that also. And that is in properties, bars, and gap before bar. And we have to select this to to be visible. So now you can see there's a gap before bar 5.84 and that is this gap here and if you put it to zero it totally it's totally gone. So now there's no gap at all anymore. So let's undo all of this and go back completely to the beginning and close this to get a little bit more space bars. So let's see another example of if we go to instruments again and we sh would uh, put at start zero subsequently to full. Subsequently means every system and there you go every system has an instrument name now a full instrument name but it takes a really lot of space so we go back to house style engraving rules you can keep it short that looks better and for example we could choose to set the start instrument name to full and they are. Now we have a nice, nice um, viewing, but uh, it's not really usual, not uh, not even really common to put the um, instrument name of every system in the piano piece. So we put it to none again, and we have the option to put a new sections, and that means that if we use a section break somewhere, the we can choose to have the instrument name full or short at the new section break. And if you want to know more about sections and breaks and how to create them, I did a little quick tip video about that as well. You can find it on my YouTube channel. So now this is about the instrument names. So we leave the full at start and non subsequently. There you go. So and now let's talk about this distance here. This distance here is shown 38.7, and you can see these rulers by the way by turning on staff rulers. Now it's gone. So let's keep it on for a moment. Rollers, staff rollers. And this distance can be set in two different ways. The first is in the same engraving rules, instruments, and then the gap between instrument names and initial bar line. So between this instrument name and the, the first bar line here. This is 2.19. If you would make, for example, 3, this is increased now. And let's see what if I put to four for example, it is increased even more. Of course, um, also the distance between the bar line and the page margin that changes when you do this. So uh, because this is this gap is between the instrument name and the initial bar line, and all three are considered instrument names. So every start of the staff will change the distance to the page margin. So let's put it back to 2.19 and everything is back to normal again. All the staffs are at least close to the page margin. Now when, if we want to um, change this distance here now from the, the left page margin to the to the um, to the instrument name left side, there's another way to do this. We select first the first bar, then we go to the properties window, properties, and we go to bars, 
and from here you can set a gap before bar and the bar which gap you choose depends on the, um, the selection you, have, you made because if I don't make any selection a bar selection I cannot even use this option so in this case I click first bar and then I can set my gap here for example 5 and you see the bar goes a little bit to the left and all the other bars are not being changed at all and that's the beauty of gap before bar so I can even choose to put it to 0 and we have it tied against the page margin but it's always nice to have a little bit of distance and I love the distance of 5 that seems good to me so this is how it works you can um, I can show you uh, quickly the other option that we saw just now in engraving rules at new sections right now we don't have new sections so nothing will be shown but for example we could have a short instrument name at the new section but we have to create a new section first and how do we do this by actually selecting a bar let's say this is the end of the section and we create a section end and there you go this is now considered a new section because this is a section end well let's unselect it again and it comes back so there you have it instrument names and gaps see you next time